Rusty Walter Crump. Rusty and, I, Rusty and I have been teaching together for 28 years. When I first met Rusty, he looked like the guitar player for Janis Joplin's band, Big Brother and the Holding Company. There's a photo that's supposed to be up here that shows him in that, there he is. Here's a photo of Rusty and I taken in 1979 <laughs> at Hancock. We're getting a head start on our comments. And as this photo makes perfectly clear, I was way younger than Rusty when I started at Commonwealth. And I continue to remain so today. Rusty has been up north in Yankee country for almost 45 years, and yet both in and out of the classroom, he continues to be a southern gentleman. For two years, I was Rusty's printmaking student. I would ask him the same dopey questions again and again, and he would reframe them for me, always encouraging, always courteous, and ever generous. Rusty is a patient man, and it's a good thing, too, because Commonwealth has two excitable short adults in the visual arts department already. <laughs> Walk into any one of Rusty's classes and you'll hear students asking him a million unrelated questions. It's like watching fleas jump off a dog, <laughs> with Rusty remaining calm at the very center. He'll pick one question and respond to it. And if you listen very carefully, he'll tell you the secret of how to make great art and I pass this on to you all today. Try it and let's see what happens. <laughs> A certain more rigid ceramics teacher might say, you want to wedge coffee grounds in that clay? Are you crazy? <laughs> Rusty's pinhole photographs are filled with mystery and romance. His images morph from one object into another, turning our familiar world upside down. Are we, are we looking at something ancient or something modern? And this is the beauty of Rusty's teaching. He's able to serve up the fundamentals of printmaking and photography while encouraging his students to indulge themselves with the passion of making art personal. I'm blessed with have Rust, having Rusty to turn to when my latest brilliant idea goes bad. He's optimistic a rare thing for an artist. I cherish the fact that my dear friend and I will continue to grow older together, climbing up five flights of stairs to our studio in a community that has nourished us.